Welcome to GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Welcome to another insightful episode of the GCK King Circle. My name is Omoumi Padaro and I am your host for today. With me is... Henry Samuel. And this is the King Circle, where kings, queens, princes, and princesses are nested, nurtured, and knitted for royalty. In our present world, we are constantly faced with challenges that test our faith, patience, and conviction, ranging from the pressures of school and work to the influence of social media, societal expectations, and even temptations and persecutions. Before we delve into that, leading the charge on this transformative platform is the renowned global trailblazer, Dr. W.F. Komui. As an advocate for youth engagement and global excellence, Dr. W.F. Komui shines as a beacon of innovation and advocacy for excellence. Let us enjoy this music. Join us today as the convener of the GCK King Circle, our coach, mentor and teacher, Dr. W.F. Kumuyi uncovers the secrets to stand on firm and victorious in the face of adversity. In Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, you need it, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Don't cringe, stand. Don't bend, stand. Don't bow to all the ideologies and customs of the world, stand. Don't look back, don't turn back, don't run away, stand. Stand your ground. More opposition will still be coming, get ready. More persecution will still be coming, get ready. More challenges will still be coming, get ready and more confusion from religious fanatics will still come. Get ready. Haven't done all? Stand. Discouragement will come. Get ready. Persecution will still come. Get ready. And the people of the world, with their fears of the world, they will come to you, introducing the things of the world to you. Get ready. Put on the whole armor of God and fight. Put on the whole armor of God and wrestle. Put on the whole armor of God and stand that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and haven't done all, stand. Know that you are in the midst of the battle. You are in the midst of the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee away from you. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, be sober, be vigilant. Take those two words. How many people today have forgotten what it means to be sober, to be vigilant? To be sober, to be watchful, to watch over your tongue, watch over your thoughts, watch over the ideas that are coming into your mind, watch over the new decisions you are making, watch over the direction in which your life is moving, watch over how you are doing in the Christian race. Be sober, don't be frivolous, do not be light. Do not follow the crowns and the jesters. Let your life be serious. Let it be sober. Soldiers don't laugh on the bill. While the guns are being fired at them, while the enemy wants to take them, it's not time to be careless and frivolous. It is not time to be giggling and smiling and grinning. It is time to be sober, to be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a running lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour and he will take advantage of your peculiar situation 
maybe you are young, and maybe you are getting older, you are not married yet, he will want to take advantage of that. Maybe you do not have a job yet, he will want to take advantage of that. Maybe you had a child, and a child died, he will want to take advantage of that. Maybe you are sick and weak, he will want to take advantage of that. Maybe you have family problem, family disorder, he will want to take advantage of that. Watch. Be sober. Be vigilant. The devil is seeking whom he may devour. Verse 9. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The devil will be deceiving you. He'll be saying, if you are in the world now, there will be no problem. There will be no scarcity. There will be no need. There will be no affliction. There will be no problem whatever. If you are in the world, you will not have any moment of being in need of anything. It's a lie. It says in verse 9, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Be sober, be vigilant. Do not allow the devil to lead you astray, to run freely. The athletes must remove every handicap. For us too, before we can be able to run the race, we must remove every handicap. No man would seek to climb Mount Everest with a load weighing him down. If we will travel far, we must travel free. What it means is this, if we're going to travel far, every load, every weight, every confusion must be taken out of the way. We must not have habits that hold us back, thoughts that hold us back, pleasures that hold us back, self-indulgences that hold us back. Neither should we indulge in having associations that pull us back. The Christian life is a battle, and a flabby soldier will never win any battle. To be victorious in the race demands discipline and vigilance. We need to discipline our bodies. You realize as you move around in a town, you need to discipline your eyes before you can win in the race. You need to discipline your ears to control what comes in, what you allow to come in into your ears. You need to control the feeling of your body, the desires of your body. You need to control what comes out of your mouth. You need to control where your legs carry you. If you are going to win in the Christian race, for the man that has a suggestion to rise up and go to a particular place now, and he will never watch, he will never find out whether that is right or not, Every time the suggestion comes, rise up and move, he rises up and he moves. Every time the suggestion comes, open your mouth and speak, he begins to speak foolishness. Every time something comes into the ear, he never knows, no, I shouldn't hear that. I shouldn't allow that to come in. No control, no discipline. A person like that will never be able to win in the race for steadfast endurance and determination. We must go through every difficulty and overcome every obstacle. In all this, Jesus is our example. For the goal set before him, he endured all things. To win, it meant for him the way of the cross. And he is our guide. He is our companion and helper in the journey. He travels with us to supply the strength that we need. If we run properly, if we fight faithfully, if we wrestle appropriately, at the last day, we will receive a crown. What a timeless truth that was. Hmm. Jesus is our perfect example because he endured the cross and won his race so we can win by daily drawing strength from him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have made us conquer. And I pray, O oh Lord, for every brother and every sister, the victory you have given us will be real in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, all the sins of the past, you will place away. All the sins of the past, you will cancel. I will pray that no sin will stick to our life, will remain in our life, and the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all our righteousness in Jesus' name. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the GCK King Circle. Be, Be the world, world changer, changer for, for Christ. Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms 
and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.